Hey guys, welcome back to Eating with Nick, where today it's about time we check out time here in the Park Royale Kuala Lumpur. We're going to be looking at the buffet today, so let's have a look, shall we? So the first thing you see when you enter the Park Royale's time is Indian food, which is interesting because we usually don't start with Indian food, but I like how they're doing things differently here. So first off, we've got the Mata Pulau and we've got the Dal Taka. We have got a Kadai Veggie as well as the Alu Kerala Bhaji. The, all these are vegetarian dishes. So for you vegetarians out there, you're going to love this place. I can, I can already tell you these things are just full of flavor. Just look at the color, you know, you can already tell what flavors are going to be there. We've also got a Mogdo Piazza, as well as potato chicken. Who doesn't love some potato chicken? And for those of you who like bread, here we've got some naan bread. And I know you guys have seen the new Spider-Man movie. Saying naan bread is like saying bread bread, but you know, we've got some naan bread and we can dip it in these amazing looking sauces, as well as mix it with the other dishes like the dal. And uh, it's gonna be great. I just, I can't wait to dig in. Moving on from the Indian food, we now have the Chinese food. And we start off with steamed fish soy sauce. And I just love this dish, it's amazing. We have bean curd vegetables as well. And this is great. I didn't know this until like just now, but this is actually uh, chicken rice. And right over here, we can see freshly chopped chicken. And it just looks so beautiful. I just, I love my proteins. You guys know this by now. And for you vegetable lovers out there, and you guys exist in hordes, uh, we have oyster mushroom broccoli. And again, this, this actually looks really good. I'm gonna try this out with the chicken rice later. And right next to the chicken rice, we have chicken soup. It's just lots of chicken. Chicken's good. We also got some vegetables over here. And uh, this is to be added on to the chicken rice. You got the classic garlic chili sauce right over here. This is, this is amazing stuff. So now we move on to the Nyonya Laksa. And over here, it's quite interesting. So you can see everything is like raw, right? And some of this has ice on it to keep it fresh. What happens is you choose the ingredients over here and we give it to the chef and she will actually blanch it for you right over there and then add it to the soup right over there and you can add the noodles as well and it's like, you're, it's like a do-it-yourself laksa station which is quite interesting, I've never seen this before, it's quite unique. And really conveniently, on the opposite side of all these amazing looking dishes, we have a coffee machine, we have fresh juices, even some tea bags over there for a do-it-yourself tea session and more fresh juices and a Malaysian classic that we all love, I can guarantee you, Teh Tarik. I mean, who does not love a good Teh Tarik? So after checking out the Chinese food, we now move on to the Western food, where we've got a beef casserole, chili black mussels, as well as vegetarian lasagna. Oh, you vegetarians, you guys are happy right now. And yes, black mussels again, wow, brown mussels again. Wow, this is, today is crazy. Okay, moving on to the Malaysian food now. We have got bihun goreng, we have got ayam masak mera, as well as kari udang nanas. Okay, moving on, we also have pucho ubi masak lemak, as well as prawn katafi. This is new, I've actually never seen this in my life. We've also got some nasi puteh, or white rice, to go along with those dishes I mentioned earlier. And moving on, we now have the roast, and this is roasted chicken. And this is just... This is actually a very healthy area, you can see the there's like uh, grilled vegetables, we got potato wedges, and of course the beautiful looking chicken, look at her. She's like, she's flirting with me a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm gonna eat you later. Okay, wow. We also got some hot sauces to go along with the amazing looking chicken. So this is a very interesting take on a salad station. So what you gotta do is, you know, it's the, the usual live salad stations where you gotta take the leaves out yourself. But this is interesting because now, They've provided us a bowl here where we can take these leaves, mix it with any of these ingredients that we like, any of these other vegetables and the sauces, and we can toss the salad ourselves. And I think, you know, I haven't, I haven't actually tossed a salad before, so I might do it in a while. And for you guys who are 
a bit iffy about vegetables, but want to get healthy, they actually have these things here and they're called microgreens. You just pluck out a little bit of these, just like maybe a clump or two, and sprinkle it on top of your meat or whatever rice dish you had earlier, just to introduce some you know, vegetables to your diet to be a bit more healthy because we all gotta put our health first, especially in this day and age. So, next to all the live salad stuff, we also have pre-made salads. If you guys are a bit lazy, like me sometimes, we have got fruit salad, we have got beetroot salad. This is unique. I've actually never seen a beetroot salad before in my 22 years of existence. We also have quinoa. It's very hard to, to spell this word and to say it, but it's, it's healthy, very healthy. It's a good alternative to rice actually. And we've also got, of course, potato salads. And along these salads, we've also got some other condiments such as olives and different types of, uh, different types of garnishings to just add flavor. For those of you who aren't really a fan of raw vegetables, we have got cooked vegetables over here in the Gado Gado station. So from what I gather, we actually have a lot of fried, different fried vegetables over here and we can actually mix them together in our plates and add different sauces to it as well to enhance their flavors. And if you guys want even more enhanced flavors, we have got some pickled vegetables in the back. But you can always just ask the chef to, you know, add on things or anything you want. He's a very nice guy and he's got a special surprise for you later. So after having a delicious and really savory lunch here at Time, you might want to dig into the desserts. And we start off with some fresh fruit, of course. We've got red apples, green apples, what looks like pear, as well as honeydew, oranges, and watermelon. And next to all that, this is where the fun really starts. We have got some French pastries over here. We've got strawberry jelly. We have got something called an opera. We have a chestnut mousse. Just so many different like desserts. They're all very unique looking and they just look so good. I can't wait to try them out after this. And next off, we have the Ice Kachang and ABC station. And over here, we can get the shaved ice and combine it with these amazing looking toppings and condiments. And it's just, I love this stuff, really good. I'm so refreshing, especially with the hot weather we have these days. Okay, moving on, we now have the crepes, another French delicacy. And look at these sauces. We got chocolate sauce, we got jam. We have what looks like applesauce and even peanut butter. This is just so, oh, I gotta go to the gym. I gotta stay, I gotta, I gotta be disciplined. But maybe I'll, I'll make today my cheat day just for today, just for this. And finishing off the desserts, we have more amazing looking ones. We got some cakes, we got some jellies as well. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is a panna cotta. No, no, it's not a panna cotta, but it is a jelly-like dessert. And it just, this smells really fresh. It smells amazing. It's really, really good. And of course, we're going to be finishing it off with some mystery quay moes. Uh, I totally know the names. I always know the names of these things. It's, I'm a Malaysian through and through. Okay, if you guys wanted something light and refreshing and cold, again, for this really hot weather we have nowadays, we have got the ice cream station where we've got coconut ice cream, chocolate ice cream, vanilla, my favorite, and strawberry ice cream. And if you're really nice and ask the chef really politely, he will give you a lime sorbet, which is actually one of my favorites. I love light and refreshing desserts, especially the sour ones. It's just it's tingly on my tongue. I just, I love it. Okay, and over here we've got a ton of different toppings to use for the sorbet or the ice cream as well. And my favorite here, I have not tried it yet, but this red velvet one looks amazing because I'm a big fan of red velvet. And uh, I just, you know, I like mixing things I like together. So I'm gonna try mixing red velvet cake with the Oreo crumble, strawberry sauce, and vanilla ice cream. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. And that'll be all for me today here at the Parc Royale. At Time, please do check it out because this place is just amazing. This buffet looks wonderful. The ambiance here is just so, just subtle and it'll be great for a romantic dinner or like a night out with the boys, a classy night out with the boys, maybe after watching the Barbie movie, who knows? Uh, but yes, please do like and subscribe and check this out. This is an amazing place and you guys will not be disappointed at all. Have a great day.